just like I call them a development lake or a, a large pond. Some of the developments have smaller ponds. Close to the city you'll see um, Four Seasons has one. Forest Lakes North, of course. But eventually they fill up with silt. And the composition of that silt differs, as you'll see in this video. But at this point, you will see waterfowl walk across this pond. That's how much silt is in here. And at this point, it does not contribute to the value of the houses around the lake. In fact, it is a menace. It breeds mosquitoes. And it is actually dangerous if somebody came down here and thought they could stand in this stuff. And you have to take that for a fact. So be very, very careful. Because on this particular one, there's a lot of muck. And it will pull the boot right off of your foot if you're by yourself. Well, you just don't want to be by yourself if you're sort of exploring. The uh, water line used to be about three feet above where it is now, maybe more. That, that was the shoreline, if you can see that. This will be a basic demonstration of some of the terms, um, equipment that is used, the, the, the pump we're using is a diaphragm pump. And if you were to do any kind of dredging, it would be a much better one. But this will, this is really a basic introduction on dredging. What you do with the material you take out. I think you'll see the composition of the material and that's a big part of the risk management that dredging companies have to think about when they bid on a job. The more information we can give the dredging company, the less, the less their risk will be and the lower the price for the community. And that's the point of this little video. So here are the basics. That's the intake point right there. That hose goes into the diaphragm pump. A diaphragm pump does not put the sediment through any kind of blades. So if we pick up rocks, it will not be damaging the blades. And that going out is the exit pump. And that's what we're going to make sure that sediment or that muck does not go back into the lake. And that's one of the big determining factors about suction dredging. Now, what comes out is going to be the best bio stuff much better than anything you can buy in a home improvement store because it is almost all natural it's not cow manure or chicken manure which has the feed additives in it or the penicillin whatever they they give to the animals and what it does have because this is such a still pond and the water does not run or other things road runoff but there's very little of that and once this lake is dredged the movement of the water will take care of a lot of that nature has a tremendous way of cleaning everything. We're taking it back to natural runoff. Sometimes farmers will clean out small ponds. When they do, they'll take the muck and spread it on and till it into their fields. And there's nothing better. So here's the basics of dredging. There's the sediment and you see the algae growing on it and this is what accumulates over the years comes right off the hill dirt pollen leaves everything and the shoreline gets clogged up first so there's the clog 
there's a sediment that's filled in that's the intake right there with a screen on it here is a diaphragm pump sometimes they use a centrifugal pump for a real dredging operation for muck or mud a, a big diaphragm pump bigger than this would be okay so muck intake diaphragm pump outflow and here's the tricky part for some operations once you get it out of the lake you don't want it going back in so we're gonna just catch it but in the case of the Rivanna Dam there's a quarry up the hill which would drain below the dam so it wouldn't get back into the reservoir uh, on in other operations they would have some kind of containment pit uphill from the dredging operation but if this looks simple I want to say it is but it's an engineering operation and engineers can do anything it is a basic application of mechanical equipment it is doable you can start small this is smaller than you probably would start but any start is better than any delay anytime you can cut the risk to a professional dredger you lower the price you find out as much as you can about what's in the lake or reservoir whatever you're dredging and the contractor can give you a better price it's very straightforward so I'm gonna crank this up and we'll see what it spits out and the pump in operation just turned it on and the straw acts like a filter this is sort of a miniature dewatering station right here because you want that muck dried out for a number of reasons less costly to transport and there is commercial value once it dries out if it's the muck it's the best topsoil you can get it weighs about a quarter of what the muck that comes out weighs and if you don't pull that out if you're pulling out sand and gravel that is also a commercial product So that's dredging in Charlottesville right there. This is not even dredging 101. This is like dredging one half or something. And that's you can you can tell the depth of the muck from that canoe paddle. I I uh, jammed it down until it hit solid ground. So it's about 16 inches.